एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू फ्रापी स्कूल दिस इज द फोर्थ चैप्टर इन आर सेल्स मैनेजमेंट कोर्स एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस लॉयल्टी प्रोग्राम मैनेजमेंट इन ईआरपी नेक्स्ट बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस चैप्टर यू विल नो हाउ टू सेट अप लॉयल्टी प्रोग्राम्स एंड ट्रैक लॉयल्टी पॉइंट एक्यूमुलेशंस मैनेज रिडेम्पशंस ऑफ लॉयल्टी पॉइंट्स ऑन परचेसेस many customers have purchased products and services from star electronics however we are not sure those customers would continue buying from our company in the long run to make sure that they stay we will have to provide them with some added benefits apart from discounts we have something called as loyalty points which can be conferred once our customers purchase goods a loyalty program lets customers earn points by spending a certain amount of money and allows them to redeem these points in their future purchases this will help build a strong customer relationship which benefits both parties since trust and loyalty increases between them additionally loyalty points can only be redeemed on the next transaction which also makes our customers return to buy our products in turn serving as a marketing technique let's try creating a loyalty program and see how customers can redeem them we can navigate to loyalty programs by using the awesome bar and opening the loyalty program list Let's create a new one by clicking on Add Loyalty Program. The first thing we'll do is name this loyalty program. We can select if this program is a single tier program or a multi tier program where customers can get more and more points as per what they spend. Next, we can add a date range for which this loyalty program will be valid and select a customer group and territory for which this loyalty program is applicable we can also select the auto opt in checkbox if we want this loyalty program to apply to all customers in the chosen territory and customer groups in the collection tier section we need to define details for the tiers of the loyalty program since the program we are creating is a multi tier program we can open a new row in the table and add a tier name for example we can name it bronze next we will need to add a minimum amount for the customers to have spent to qualify for this tier for example we want it to be zero consequently we can define a collection factor which means the amount of money that needs to be spent for one loyalty program to be earned here we can add 100 and save this collection tier next we can add the details of the next tier enter silver in tier name set collection factor to 75 and minimum total spend to 1000 Finally add the details of the gold tier with a collection factor of 50 and a minimum spend of 10000 In the redemption section we can add details about how customers can redeem their loyalty points the conversion factor section helps us define how much one loyalty point is worth Next we can add an expense account here We can also define the number of days for which these loyalty points earned by the customer is valid. Suppose we want the loyalty points to be valid for one year, we can add three sixty-five. Once we've added all the details we'll need, we can save this loyalty program. Now let's see how we can use this loyalty program. and link it to specific customers in the system first we'll need to navigate to the customer list once we open the customer list we can select a particular customer and open their details 
We can scroll down to loyalty points and select the loyalty program we just created. Once we link this loyalty program, we can save the document. Now, let us create a sales invoice for this customer and submit. We can see that a loyalty point entry record has been created with the loyalty point details. We can also see when these points will get expired here. We can also see the loyalty points that a customer has earned in the stats section in the customer record. Let's see how loyalty points can be redeemed in a sales invoice. First, we'll go to the sales invoice list by navigating in the selling module. Once we create a new invoice and add customer and order details, we can scroll down to the loyalty points redemption section. Here, we can select the redeem loyalty points checkbox. We will have to add the number of loyalty points to be redeemed, the company account, and the cost center linked to this loyalty points redemption. We can see the loyalty point entry record getting created to reflect the redemption of loyalty points. The total amount the customer has to pay is shown in the outstanding amount field in which the invoice also reflects the redemption. This brings us to the end of the fourth chapter of our sales management course. I hope this chapter helped you understand how loyalty programs work in ERP Next and how we can adequately configure them and incentivize customers as well. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss dropshipping. Thank you.